Pulitzer Prize winning columnist, News Nation senior contributor George Will with us. Um, <laughs> the White House says they're going to wait for the CDC to decide if they're going to appeal. Are they waiting for the CDC or are they waiting for the polling? I don't think they need to poll. I think they, they were seeing focus groups, if you will, and polled. And all those videos we see of cheering uh, airline plane passengers and cheering airplane crews who hate this business of trying to monitor who's taking too long between sips of their coffee to put their mask back over their nose. Uh, if the White House has a lick of sense, I will bet you dollars to donuts that they are just delighted that this judge has done this. Why they're asking the CDC, I don't know, because it is the in inconsistent opinions that have been pouring out of the CDC for years now uh, that has led the judges and the court, not, and that's not the only judge who's, who's lo looking at these things, to say that the CDC is capricious and arbitrary and not following the science because what science, Leland, says put masks on five-year-olds? There is none. The reaction to this yesterday, as you noted, uh, cheering on airplanes, but the media, especially MSNBC and some on CNN, seemed almost disappointed. Take a listen. It's fairly clear and obvious that this was a politically motivated decision. There's nothing in the explanation that the CDC has exceed, exceeded its statutory authority. You can't just assume that everyone else is so, you know, excited to take their masks off. I do worry about folks who are immunocompromised, and I worry about the people who are unvaccinated. We do worry about everything loosening at the, at, you know, all at once. People say they just feel more comfortable wearing them. They will wear them regardless of the rules. People we met this morning were actually pretty nervous. We're still dealing with a very contagious virus that can wreak havoc on people. God forbid there's another virus that does something similar or worse. Oh boy. Somebody, people just can't give it up, can they? Leland, strange but true. Some people like masks. Every morning I go out to, for a long walk before it's even light in Washington, very early. This morning I saw two things. I saw a car go by, no one in the car but the driver, and the driver was wearing a mask. That makes no sense at all. About five minutes later, I'm walking by a house. A woman comes out dressed for work. She's going to go in early. She picks up her newspaper to go back inside and read it for a while, I guess over a cup of coffee, and she's wearing a mask. It makes no sense. Some people like, and we know you, uh, MSNBC, some people like the American people being regimented. Huh? And some people like, strange to say, I think they like the feeling of excitement and danger that comes from having a pandemic. Yeah. Strange but true, the mask has a constituency. Now, what we should do is, is just as when you, you sound bite just said, those who like masks, wear them. Right. That's fine. Yeah, no, but there it, is you, no science that says people without masks are threatening those with masks. You do you. I, I was fascinated by some of the tweets, even from physicians, Jeremy Faust being one of them. Hi, United. When I bought my tickets for me, my wife, who was pregnant, and her unvaccinated four-year-old, I assumed you would continue to have a mask mandate. Now you cancel it, and we will have to board our return flight under a new no-mask-required policy. Thanks so much. Or, I guess, Jeremy, you can drive uh, to wherever you want. Uh, or wear masks yourself. How is the liberal intelligentsia going to telegraph to all of us that they are uh, so much better, so much more enlightened, and so much more virtuous if they can't yell at people who don't wear masks? Leland, progressivism since the turn of the 20th century has said American people need more regimentation, they need more government by experts, they need science to tell us how to behave. This is a blow, not against this or that progressive agenda, but the general progressive impulse. Franklin Roosevelt, in his inaugural address in March 1932, said, we are now have an emergency, and we must behave as though we were confronting a foreign invader, and we must be regimented, and I must have powers commensurate with a foreign invasion. Now, that's been a progressive theme for more than a century now. We shouldn't be surprised. I guess the more modern version is Rahm Emanuel, never let a crisis go to waste. Uh, Mr. Will, it's good to see you, sir. Always good to be with you, Lena. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.